Hello. Let us study about light. In this tutorial, we will understand the meaning of dispersion and spectrum, the causes of dispersion. In that, we will study about pure spectrum, we will study visible spectrum, then we will go on to understand the concept of spectroscope, the uses and the definition of the spectroscope, the concept of continuous emission spectrum, the line emission spectrum, absorption spectrum and spectrochemical analysis. Finally, we will understand the concept of C. V. Raman effect. Let us recall and note that light is a form of energy and it always travels in straight lines. That's the first thing. Second, the refraction of light is basically because of the change in the velocity of the light. Third, refractive index of a medium is defined as the velocity of light in a vacuum to the velocity of light in medium. Next, the composite light that is for example sunlight when passed through prism it splits into its constituent colors. Last, rainbow is nothing but a spectrum that is formed in the nature. Now let us study about dispersion and spectrum. Newton experimentally showed that sunlight is made up of various colors. You see it when a narrow beam of sunlight, this is a narrow beam of sunlight, when it is made to pass through a triangular glass prism, the rays spread into a band of colors. You can see this ray over here at this region, it spreads into a band of colors. And the colors that were seen uh, by the splitting of this composite uh, narrow beam of light were same as that of a rainbow. That is with red at one end and violet at the other end. So in between we could see a violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Now the phenomenon of a separation or splitting up of a composite light into constituent colors is called as dispersion. Now you can see a composite light that is a sunlight, the sunlight is also called as white light. It is splitting up into or it is getting separated into it's a constituent colors. It, it's already had these colors. Now, the next thing you got to understand is the medium that brings the dispersion is called as a dispersive medium. So in this case, vacuum or air don't bring any dispersion. So they are not dispersive medium. But again, it, uh, you, you have got water, you have got glass, other examples of some dispersive medium. Next, let us understand the meaning of spectrum. Now, the band of colors, you can see the band of colors the band of colors, obviously these colors have got various wavelengths, that is obtained by the dispersion of narrow beam of composite light. Now again we can see a narrow beam of composite light enters into this. The band of colors, the band of colors that is obtained by the splitting up of a narrow beam of composite light. It splits over here, it disperses at this point. Now this is called, uh, this is called as an spectrum. Now an important point to note is that now when a beam of white light, you can see it over here, when a beam of white light that which could be a sunlight or a bulb light, it is incident on a triangular glass prism, it disperses at point B and it breaks up into constituent colors on this white screen right from violet to red. Now you can see that red is the color with uh, least deviation and whereas uh, uh, blue is the color with uh, maximum deviation. We can we have we have to note that now red is a color with uh, uh, blue is sorry a uh, blue is a color with uh, shorter wavelength whereas red is a color with higher wavelength it deviates least whereas uh, uh, blue deviates most. Now there is one more uh, thing which we have to understand the concept of formation of rainbow when the sunlight falls on a water droplet it undergoes reflection and also total and also refraction there is a concept of total internal reflection happening over here as well as refraction happening at the, the uh, surface of the water molecules now because of which i mean the rainbows are formed the newton actually went a step further to find out to, to find out his supposition now he placed two prisms that is you know, a prism p1 and p2 P2 was placed inverted to P1 and he observed that 
when the narrow beam of composite light was incident again on the prism it split into a rainbow color rainbow spectrum over there and and, and when the same spectrum was a passed through an inverted uh, prism p2 now again it the colors got recombined you can see that the recombination of the colors happening over here into a white light but we got to understand what is the cause of all this dispersion now dispersion basically happens because you can take different media whether you know a, a media like a glass or a water for example different media like water and glass they have got different in refractive indices for different colors now let us go on to understand the concept of pure spectrum now in all the previous experiments we saw that a narrow beam of sunlight is obtained by uh, by making a small hole in the cardboard but the beam coming out of this it is diverging and the rays of sunlight we can see it over here will be incident at uh, at different angles on the prism the rays which come out of cardboard hole they are diverging and the rays of light they are incident at different angles on the prism and therefore the spectra what is achieved you know uh, corresponding to these rays they will be incident on the screen at different angles so obviously the spectra what we achieve they are at different angles over here you can see it in this image and therefore the spectra that is uh, formed corresponding to those uh, uh, different incident uh, uh, rays that also will be slightly different because of this uh, there will be overlapping of the colors hence the spectrum is uh, impure and uh, in the sense that colors are not uh, distinct now then what is pure spectrum then a pure spectrum is a spectrum in which the constituent colors they occupy their respective positions you can see it in the figure over here the constituent colors they are occupying a uh, respective positions and are distinct you can you can clearly the you can see the colors distinctly you can see red orange yellow green blue violet all the colors are being seen distinctly now in because these colors are occupying the respective positions now such kind of spectrum is called as pure spectrum then let us study about the concept of visible light a visible light is the one whose wavelength ranges between 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers 400 nanometers being the wavelength of uh, the violet whereas 700 nanometers being the wavelength of the red so beyond 700 nanometers you know we, we get an you know, 800 nanometers we get infrared and we get ultraviolet over here the this side of this will contain you know a radio waves as well as microwaves and then you got infrared in this color you have got ultraviolet you have got uh, x rays and you have got gamma rays over here as well as cosmic rays you can see one more image of uh, the visible spectrum you can see the colors are occupying their respective positions for example you can see a violet you know uh, blue green yellow orange and red the indigo for example indigo is violet indigo blue green yellow orange red they are occupying their respective positions and are distinct now let us go on to understand the concept of spectroscope now what is spectroscope then a spectroscope is uh, an instrument is basically a device to obtain spect pure spectrum we want to always it is important to have a pure spectrum from a composite light using prism now let us see the construction of a spectroscope you can see there is a, a collimator over here this, and you have got a prism that is called as a diffraction grating over here and then you have got a telescopes over here now in this arrangement a narrow slit of the collimator you can see uh, the collimator has got a narrow slit it is called as collimator uh, slit uh, okay, the the light source which needs to be studied it is placed in front of the narrow slit of the collimator now this light source passes through the narrow slit it passes through like this there is a lens cl over here and uh, these uh, narrow beam of the light source they are rendered on the uh, lens cl because of which the become the rays become parallel now these parallel rays they are allowed to pass through a prism you can see a diffraction grating there is a prism over here these parallel rays are made to pass through the prism and at the prism they get dispersed and then they enter telescopes you can see they get dispersed over here there is dispersion happening at this end and then they enter the telescope you can see entering the telescope over here you can see it and en entering the telescope over here also now in the telescope 
we can see a uh, magnified images of the spectrum by by seeing it over here this is an eyepiece by looking into this eyepiece you will be able to see the magnified images of this we can see the magnified images of those colors now that is how actually a spectroscope works you can see a design of a spectroscope this is how a spectrum a spectroscope looks like there's a calimeter there's a calimeter collimeter over here and there are telescopes over here this is the diffraction grating this is the collimeter these are the telescopes you can see image over here also now this is a circular base and you have got v1 and v2 you have got telescopes over lens it is lens over here pass through the lens and the dispersion happenings which can be seen through a telescope now let us go on to understand the uses of continuous emission spectrum line emission spectrum absorption spectrum and spectrochemical analysis now basically uh, the spectra that is obtained from the spectroscope it is uh, used to study and analyze the information about the sources of the light what will happen when the radiations of sunlight or molten iron are examined and analyzed then a continuous emission spectrum is it is a rainbow like spectrum that is obtained when radiations emitted from various sources like sunlight or molten iron or light from the filament bulb or candle flame that are examined and analyzed using spectroscope now you can see it over here in this case there is a bulb light from the bulb is made to pass through a prism this is a prism uh, the entire process is happening through a spectroscope over here and then you see the formation of a continuous spectrum the next thing is what is line emission spectrum then you can see it over here no line emission spectrum is basically obtained when vapors and gases are made to emit light now in this case they have taken a hot gas when a hot gas is made to emit light now what is the uh, spectrum formed the, the spectrum that is formed will have sharp we can see it over here it has got sharp bright colored lines against a dark background the background over it's pretty dark now these lines are nothing but the slit images for various colors now this kind of spectrum is called as line emission spectrum the pattern of the lines you can see the lines over the pattern of the line is different for different elements now for example you can see a figure over here the pattern of the line is different for hydrogen it is different for helium it is different for mercury now therefore once these patterns of the lines are known once the elements that is present in the source can easily be found out can be easily be identified this process will help us to identify the elements that is present in the sun and in the other stars also in this case it is also possible to study the amount of the substance that is present in the source this technique is called as spectrochemical analysis